made of single-use bamboo chopsticks Puffins So be unique and let your chopstick folding basket spark a conversation about conservation. Yodeling is a, to me, it's a wonderful art form that deserves to stay alive. Shut the fuck up! Yodeling was part of the repertoire of most pop singers. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Kids always want to know how to yodel and, and the easy way to do it, and I always give them the knock knock joke. Knock knock, who's there? Little old lady. Little old lady. <laughs> Do you like waffles? Yeah, we like waffles. The chopstick basket. If you do it real fast, nobody knows that that's your your trick. Particularly right now, I want to discuss utilizing a bottling bucket. I've got a big bag of crops here. Real seat, as well as a handle. A rod that's lightweight, that's extremely sensitive. Dead gummit. Dead gummit. It is one of the fastest growing family activities you probably haven't even thought about. We're talking about stamp collecting. <laughs>
real steak and potatoes kind of guy. Into a flexible, collapsible home decor basket. There's nothing more delicious than peaches in summer as well as berries. And for fall, of course, there are apples. Males do their best to pull as many females as they can. I'm not afraid to get sand on my tuxedo if you're not afraid to let the wind mess your hair up a little bit when I take the top down. Perhaps even a, a nice bath with some champagne and candles. I'm Sean with Davy Tree and today we're talking trees. Today we're going to be discussing proper mulching. Mulch, such as this hardwood mulch, mulch, such as hardwood mulch, mulch. We want to make sure the mulch is no more than two to four inches deep. And we want to make sure that the mulch is not up against the flare mulch. So now that we've determined which organic mulch we're going to use to mulch our trees, how much mulch should be applied? Mulch. Well, the larger the mulch ring, the better. If possible, we'd like to mulch mulch. Hopefully this information on proper mulching has been beneficial to you. Okay, horseradish sauce. They call it bull on a rope. I can't think of a better way to describe this local tradition. It's a giant get together with people joining their friends and families to see what basically amounts to a bull on a rope chasing people around. Obvious signs of, of muskrat presence and muskrat damage is the erosion. Muskrat, it's an obvious indication you have muskrats and a muskrat problem. Muskrat run. Muskrat, and the simplest solution on muskrats is what we call a body grip trap. Muskrat, it's going to trip the trap and it's going to collapse down on him and it's going to euthanize him very, very quickly. It's very effective. Muskrat, muskrat. <laughs> Yes, we've seen not much of that, Ted. And there goes. This eco-friendly basket... Stuff is crazy. Get out! Damn it! Oh, my dog! I drop the jaw. La 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 la. Da da. Try to relax the jaw as if you're just dropping it, like this. The jaw. The relaxed jaw. With the relaxed jaw, it would be really interesting. Your jaw dropped. Jaw. I like to try new things. Thank you. 